Welcome to the American Rambler with your host, Paul Grofton. Looks like we have more news about the uh, about uh, missing Brian Laundry. Uh, they're claiming that human remains have been found, and it's a possibility that it might be Brian Laundry. The parents seem to have found it uh, on the last day before they were sure to reopen the park. But I doubt, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and doubt that's Brian Laundry out there. I'm still saying that he's probably out in Mexico uh, teaching English as a second language. Okay, so here coming from the insider uh, is saying that authorities found what appear to be human remains in the Carlton Reserves Wednesday morning. Stephen Bertolino, the, the lawyer for Brian Laundry, said the probably is strong. The remains are Brian's. Uh, I think they're hoping uh, to, or it's something that they might be able to claim to take the heat off of Brian Laundry. The attorney for the Laundry family said the apparent human remains found by law enforcement on Wednesday is more than likely uh, to be Brian Laundry. Well, they find found some of uh, Brian Laundry's uh, items there, but they haven't been able to confirm the bones are him. Oh, we're going to trust uh, CNN Cuomo prime time. You know, the like brother, like brother, uh, sexual assault, sexual harassment charges. Okay. So Wednesday evening, found the announcement from authorities earlier in the day, discovered what appeared to be human uh, remains in the Carl Carlson Reserves. Yeah, there is something suspicious about the parents being able to find it so quickly after 30 days of searching, and nobody was able to find anything. Well, they did find something. They found another man that committed suicide. And this is probably another man that committed suicide, but it's not laundry. They're probably strong that Brian's remains, but we are going to wait for the forensic results to come to verify that Bernard Lino told CNN. Okay. Yeah, if you want, um, if you want misguided news. Okay, so. Bertolino previously told insiders Natalie Musumichi Mus Mus that the apparent remains were found at local laundries. Parents had advised the authorities to search for him. Chris and Roberta Laundry were at the reserve earlier today, where human remains and some of Brian's possessions were located in an area where they had initially advised law enforcement that Brian may be, Bertolino said. Well, okay. Um, who knows if that was planted there or if that was, uh, or if that was his actual stuff. Okay. So Chris and Roberto Laundry were at the search. Okay, we are gone that. I hear that Chris Laundry Brown's father had found a bag with some of his son's belongings. Yes, did they bring the bag with them? Did they bring it uh, the night before? Did the FBI uh, plant it? What are the questions? There's a lot of unanswered questions here. So Chris Lyon discovered a dry bag containing some of Brian's items in the woods alongside the trail, and law enforcement officers also found a backpack nearby on the side of the trail near the remains, he said. Now, the one thing about uh, Carlson Reserves because there's a lot of gators in there. So that is a possibility. It could be laundry. Or it could be somebody else. I am leaning towards the side that it's somebody else. Laundry was reported missing by his parents on September 17th. Who told police they hadn't seen their son. Since he went hockey in the Carlton Reserve days prior. Since the law enforcement has been searching for laundry. A person of interest in the case of his fiance, Gabby Petito. Petito's remains were found September 19th near Grantians 
National Park in Wyoming. Okay. Well, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm still saying he's probably in uh, Mexico teaching English as a second language. Uh, tell me what you think below.